The transformation tools allow you to move your objects freely in 3D space, but they also allow you to snap your movements to the grid or to other objects. To snap to the grid, you can enable the grid snap icon in the status bar at the top of your screen. This icon is a red magnet laid over a picture of a grid. Another method is to use the X key. Holding down the X key on your keyboard will invert the status of the menu icon. By default, the grid snap is turned off. Holding down the X key will turn it on and keep it on until the key is released. If the grid snap is turned on, the X key will temporarily turn it off until the key is released. Notice how the center of the move manipulator changes when the grid snap is on or off. When it is off, the center is square, but when it is on, it is circular. Another snapping tool is the curve snap tool. This will enable you to snap an object to a curve, or to the edge of another polygonal object, or to an isoparm on a nerves object. The button to enable the Curve Snap tool is located on the status bar at the top of your interface, right next to the Grid Snap tool. This tool is also mapped to the C key, which toggles the Curve Snap on or off, just like the X does for the Grid Snap. Using the Curve Snap is a little different than the Grid Snap tool. Rather than move the object with its manipulator, you specify the destination curve instead. First. Select the object you want to move, making sure that the Move tool is enabled. With the Curve Snap enabled, place your mouse on top of the curve you want to snap to. Using your middle mouse button, click and drag slightly. Hold the middle mouse button and drag, and your object will only move along the destination curve. Notice that it's the pivot point on the sphere that snaps to the curve. Finally there's the vertex snap tool. This tool works just like the grid and curve snap tool, but snaps your object to a single point. The menu item is in the same place on the status bar as the other tools, and this too has a hotkey, which is the V key. Just like the curve snap tool, you select the object that you want to move and make sure that the move tool is enabled. With the vertex snap tool enabled, Use your middle mouse button to click and drag in the vicinity of a vertex or point. Your object will snap to that point. Notice that keyboard shortcuts are clustered for ease of use. The transform keys W, E, and R are together on one row of your keyboard, and the snap keys X, C, and V are together on another.